Hello everyone, and welcome back to City Skylands Let's Design with me, your host, Simplera. And uh, there are two things we will be working on in this episode. Uh, first of all, we continue building, designing our beautiful international airport. And you see, I made some changes. If you watch the previous episode, you can tell. Um, I got this little terminal thing, so this way, you know, our airport got bigger and we have less free spots so that is that really beautiful really got it i mean i really like how it looks and you see we, we have some planes going on and some action takes place in our airport so it's really nice to see that it actually functions and it actually works just fine and uh, you know you know i've been told that um, the you see you get the control tower that it didn't look very realistic and I well I agree that it didn't look very realistic uh, in the spot in that the you know in the place that if it had before so anyway I moved our <laughs> um, tower just yeah to the side I mean why not okay and I was also thinking uh, whether or not to put these uh, lights on both ends of the runway but I didn't I ended up not to do this because there was not enough room on the other side so yeah that's it so we are working on the international airport I'm sorry I, I forgot to tell the thing number two uh, two things uh, first, first of all international airport and second of all um, elevated train station and I mean if you read the title Yes, you know that that's going to be a thing. Uh, elevated train station here, but uh, you know, it takes time. Okay, it takes time to build a good-looking uh, international airport, and because of that, uh, like two thirds of this video, we gonna be working on an airport, and only like at the at the, at the end, on the one third of the video, uh, the the elevated train station will actually get featured um so yeah but it is it, gonna it's gonna be there so please stay tuned for that especially since you know we work on on an airport and you can get some ideas here as well and you see we're working on in, on another side of the airport and i feel like at this side there is like this um, uh, how do you call it like the place for like for the stuff just like that. so this here we can have some cargo and you see we got some FedEx terminals buildings I don't know for cargo and all this stuff like not like for uh, usual passengers but for, like for the crew and for the staff that works there in an airport and so kind of like why not we will have some um, Un hungers, hungers, hungers here, and you know some like some, mm, yeah, <laughs> some buildings uh, for the airport to function properly. And so we got these buildings on the side, so like some some glass buildings and some uh, hungers and whatnot. So yeah, and in the middle we have like this. Um, um, terminals for passengers like for usual people <laughs> for ordinary people and uh, yeah and you see I was also thinking how should we connect uh, you see we got the road one road and another road like these um, six lane roads you see these huge fat roads and I was thinking how should we connect them because I didn't like I just didn't like that you know they were just there not connected so let's connect them and yeah we're just gonna go uh, all the way yeah all the way here like following the coast and yeah just curve it up a little bit and that is that and let's just yeah move it a bit further and yeah now it's all connected and looks really nice and yeah let's not forget about the terrain as well of course uh, this way it looks more like natural the land looks more natural and everything looks more natural and yeah you see, just some just some changes just some little touches 
And is there another building in this area? Yes? No? Maybe not. I... <laughs> what am I even doing? Oh, and is it we got this kind of like a, you know, not like, not like a square, but this uh, uh, yard <laughs> thing? Like, uh, yeah. And inside we will have some, uh, like some vehicles, some like some cars. I don't know for, for, for cargo and all the stuff that is necessary for our airport or whatever. Uh, you'll see. And of course, we need pavement here. Since you know, you see, I didn't, uh, um, I didn't want to uh, left the free access to uh, the runways because, well, uh, you see, we got this road over there, and I didn't like the idea of, like, you know, you drive on a car, and so like you can get inside the airport without like getting into a terminal or wherever into the building so you can uh, just walk to the runway from like this when there is a free spot like here you can just dr drive on your car over here like get out of the car and just walk to the runway and so like i mean a dream of the terrorists like really i didn't want to left some free spaces some free access to it so yeah but we got a plane and like yeah we can imagine that there is like this I don't know control uh, I don't know like some some place where uh, they don't allow you to go I mean I was also thinking about putting some fences and we will put some fences later so this way people can't uh, go over and just walk like in the middle of the uh, airport and like walk over to the runway or somewhere yeah so what we want is we want people only be able to like to go inside the airport building and then yeah where the planes are but anyway um so what we also want to have here some planes inside so like you know um like uh, these planes got parked here and like they're waiting for um, their flight <laughs> and yeah oh you see I'm changing this a little bit so because I found found um, this little thing <laughs> and you see there are like a lot of boxes like some cargo some vehicles and yeah it just makes it all much nicer it makes it look like it is like a very busy airport and like lots of stuff going going on and yeah there is a lot of things to do for for the crew and for the staff and for people whatever whatever so what we want here is some planes because why not to put some planes over here so it's like I don't know, like they got parked here and like yeah they're waiting for their flight as I said and because you know we got this free spot inside so why not to fill it with uh, some of course pavement but also with some uh, planes and we will also have some uh, decorations like some boxes and whatnot and uh, you see this another <laughs> uh, terminal we got here and it is actually more detailed than the others and you see we got these lines over there like a little small small uh, plane and like these things for uh, the access but whatever so really beautiful detailed terminal looking very nice but uh, I got some problems with the terrain because uh, yeah the flat the the ground here is not flat at all and I mean it's been a problem from the episode one <laughs> but yeah and back then I didn't have the uh, terraforming tool not I just we we didn't have the terraforming tool <laughs> it was not a thing back then so yeah I, I just there was there was just no way I could fix it and now yeah I pay the price <laughs> because you know some buildings were built on this weird ground like on these hills and now we are trying to make things look very nice so we need to flood the ground and yeah let's put some pavement now <laughs> uh, some pavement over here 
and you see um you can get this mod again in the description as well as the elevated train station that will appear soon <laughs> soon and you can get the mod for this um, ultimate area fillers for these brushes so you can put pavement anywhere i've been promoting this mod for like five episodes now but it's just so cool you see uh, some props i put some boxes and some, like some yeah some really nice props again in the description and yeah like uh, the mod is called more beautification again look it up on the steam workshop some really useful mods and you see we could you can put these props anywhere really nice and this way uh, we also have planes as props so this way we can put planes wherever we want which is also I, I think a nice touch right and we will we will not only have the planes that you know arrive and departure from arrive to the airport and departure from <laughs> at our airport but we will also have we'll have some parked uh, planes like this. yeah just the planes that you know just just stay here <laughs> just yeah and they kind of work as a decor as decorations and you know they don't move but we don't want them to move right <laughs> so that's not a problem and yeah just a plane over there uh, we got the play like the, uh, the different um, airlines as well. We got uh, Air Float, Aeroflot, and we got Air France, and we will have also you see Lufthansa, Lufthansa, Lufthansa. Uh, really, really uh, I mean, I'm just obsessed with Lufthansa. I don't know. <laughs> I just I love it. And we also have British Airways and Virginia something. I don't know. Airways Airlines. I don't know Virginia something. And, and yeah some other airlines so yeah it just adds the realism to airport and just makes things look more realistic and that's what we want here and oh boy it's gonna take us like <laughs> three minutes or something of the time to uh, to put this pavement I mean we pay a lot of detail to uh, we pay a lot of attention to details so that's the price when you pay a lot of attention to details uh, you uh, i don't want to say you waste your time but you need to spend a lot of time and that's what we do that's what we do and you see you could not only put the pavement with the help of this tool of this mod i'm sorry of this mod uh, uh, ultimate area fillers but you can also have some uh, agricultural like land like you know for farms it will be really nice and you can also have some like gravel like some some dirt and and yes yeah, so a variety of things like some some squares some parks some squares and yeah, sooner or later we will come back to our uh, farming district. Yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, because I really want to put this... Um, like, so we can have big fields in our farming district. And I'm really looking forward to that. Because we didn't have such opportunity before. And now we do have tools to work on all these things. So yeah, stay tuned for that as well. I'm super excited for this. But we're almost done with this um, pavement. You see, you can also get some tips from this as well. Like, uh, you can use this big four by four squares of pavement, and then uh, on some like on on some spots use some small ones or some circle ones. So you can this way you can fill like all of the land. Yeah. And yeah, we're almost done, right? <laughs> I believe so. Yes, we're done. Thank God. Now let's put a couple of planes here. <laughs> Again, Lufthansa and British Airlines. And uh, yeah, we will also put some boxes and like some, you know, some little details, little details, some touches. And yeah, and you know, when you zoom out, 
uh, these props they disappear but uh, like the main buildings like this huge uh, air, uh, airplane that is not a prop actually it, it's a lot but you can put it anywhere anyway um, they stay when you zoom out yeah but the, the props they disappear but I don't think it's a problem I mean yeah it's not a problem I mean you zoom out and you see the the main body of things and yeah who cares and you see here it is kind of a problem here because I don't want to leave it open the runway and the airport we need to to like to get a, a barrier here something like that will separate the insides of the airport like the runways from like the roads and for from the like other ordinary stuff <laughs> so uh, I zoned some uh, offices but uh, in this episode they won't grow up because we don't have um, how's it called it's not supply um, oh Jesus we don't have demand thank God we don't have demand for industry so this way uh, offices won't grow up but yeah I think it, they will look quite nice over there I mean it's the airport so people work there there are offices so uh, I'm sure it will be it will look good and I'm sure it's a nice touch but here look what we're working on now look what we're doing elevated train station finally it's been <laughs> it's been like 16 17 minutes but here we are elevated train station on the steam workshop you can find different kinds of it like some different designs um, here we have like this how do you call it like Brooklyn themed New York themed uh, <laughs> uh, train elevated train station and I mean I'm I just I'm just in love with it like really detailed looks really good it got like some yeah like the, the brown brick and yeah like some billboards on the side this roofs looking really nice a bit dirty but it just, it just yeah makes it much more detailed and much more realistic but we need to connect this elevated train station to our a railroad so that's what we do uh, and here the mod that allows you to put the bridges without pillars was very useful you see what I'm doing is I put this uh, um, railroad bridges and you see first I put them with pillars and then I push the button on the left corner on the um, on the down left corner and then we can put bridges without pillars so it's called floating well yeah floating bridges but we don't want to have them everywhere like I mean it's not where it's not realistic at all like floating bridges we need to have some pillars but some because you see we got the road right next to the side of the right next to the sides of our elevated train station and so this way they won't connect because they want to create pillars but we don't want to have the pillars over there so that's what we do uh, yeah floating bridges like some parts of the bridges are floating but yeah and in some parts we do have pillars because this way it looks much more realistic so you see we got some pillars in places where we want them to be and we don't have pillars in the place where we don't want them to be <laughs> so that is that a lot of words have been said by me but yeah and let's connect it just on the other side over here again using the same technique some parts of the bridge are floating and the other parts have pillars so that is that looking really good and um, yeah when I was thinking about like you know I found this um, elevated train station on the workshop and it's been out like from a couple of months now but anyway when I found it I thought like well first of all hmm that's a nice idea to put a elevated train station here but I didn't actually think that we will need to have two of them 
because you see we have two uh, railroads over here and uh, you see because we have but because we have uh, two railroads uh, I feel like we will have to make them one way because right now they function uh, like like two way and that is not right I mean it was it was all right before but now when we have this two train station right next to each other I don't feel like it's okay anymore and I mean I feel like I can find on the workshop like the elevated train station with two railways two railroads but yeah I will look it up but for now we will have these two um, elevated train stations and yeah not in this episode but I will take a look at one-way railroads and I'm sure we will have them okay that and what I'm trying to say is that in, uh, in the next episode I will try my best and figure out how should you make one-way railroads I mean if you know how feel free to tell me <laughs> because I'm yet to figure it out you see I was trying to connect why see we, we have this the train stops so we can create uh, the lines but for some reason it didn't work you see this uh, train station on the ground in our downtown district like there is only one lane oh, oh i'm sorry there is only one railroad that actually works that is we so that is weird so i'll figure it out i just didn't have time in this episode and i mean it's been a lot of time already so yeah and i've also noticed that we don't have um a sufficient amount of uh, connections here because yeah yeah um, because the trains there was no not enough uh, turns and yeah so we'll have that trains w were not able to go in some directions you know if you came from one place you won't be able to go in in a in in a direction what I'm saying is that put as many um, these like turns and connections as you can because this way trains can go in different directions. Yeah, finally, <laughs> and so we have now uh, a couple of more connections, which is really nice. And now trains have more choice of where they want to go, and they can turn in different directions now. And yeah. That is sad, but also always pay attention to how the uh, like these lines look because you know you don't want to create a multiple connections uh, for the trains to turn like <sighs> you don't want to create like in a, in the same direction, yeah. So so anyway, um, I was also trying to make a connection like on the other side but there was not enough room I mean <laughs> again I'll try to take a look at it off camera because I, there was just not enough time and the clock was ticking and it was it was a pressure but I, I made a connection on the bridge which is maybe not the, the best idea ever but I mean it works so it's kind of like a why not so we have a connection on uh, like a floating connection on the uh, on the bridges so yeah i mean it works so why not uh, now we connect these roads that are right next to the airport and you see this way we have a train station right next to the international airport and right next to the um uh, like this how is the district called like the the fun time district <laughs> uh like yeah there are like a lot of venues so yeah really useful now people can use this train station to get to this uh, to this district like on the left and to the airport which is you know really good and so that is that for this episode we got a train station ourselves and i will try to finish the airport off camera because it takes so much time but anyway until next time please stay tuned and goodbye